We have new details in the trial of James Whitey Bulger. As we reported live at 5, Stephen Rakes, a witness in Bulger's racketeering trial who turned up dead last month, died of cyanide poisoning. Tonight, a Sudbury man has pleaded not guilty to the attempted murder in Rakes' death. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia is live in studio with more. Authorities say they have solved the mystery surrounding the suspicious death of Stephen Rakes, a potential witness in the James Whitey Bulger trial. The district attorney says Rakes' coffee was poisoned. We're here to announce that criminal charges have been filed in the death of Stephen Rakes. With both hands heavily bandaged and his head down, 69-year-old William Camuti went before a judge Friday on attempted murder charges. Today, William Camuti was arrested and charged with attempted murder, misleading the police, and unlawful disposition of human arraigns. The 69-year-old Sudbury resident is alleged to have poisoned Rakes back in July as the two went for a ride in Camuti's car. We allege that this defendant, Mr. Camuti, intentionally put Vic poison in the victim's iced coffee and then dumped Mr. Rakes' body in a remote location. According to investigators, Camuti and Rakes have known each other for years as business associates, and Camuti owed Rakes a lot of money. Mr. Rakes was lured to this meeting on the promise of a real estate deal in which he could invest and make a significant amount of money. However, that deal did not, in fact, exist. Instead, prosecutors say Camuti put two teaspoons of cyanide in Rakes' iced coffee and later dumped his body. Camuti has a criminal history. In 1993, he was sentenced to prison in order to pay back $2.5 million for mail fraud. A murder charge has not been filed against Camuti because the medical examiner is still waiting on test results to determine Rake's official cause of death. The district attorney, meanwhile, says Rake's death has nothing to do with the James Whitey Bulger trial. I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.